Hey everyone, this is Dave Lang of Iron Galaxy Studios. I'm here to talk to you today about high level play in Reketeer. Now in the corner there you'll see Kurt Tillmans, he's the lead designer. He's going to play through 4-1 and show you what's capable when you get really, really good at the game. So on 4-1, the first shot is the lift shot. It's super big, super powerful, does tons of damage, but doesn't go very far. Kurt's going to use its special ability to boost forward and up and get to the back of this castle. So right there, right away, you got two early bonus icons. You got the daredevil and the low power for some extra points. This might look like a bad shot, but you see he's using the waving ability to put some English on the shot and line up something that's actually going to be perfect here. So you see he gets to the base of this tower, lifts it into the tower. It's going to plow through, go through the second tower, make it all the way to the back wall and take down the whole right side of the castle. Now if you look to the right there, all those bonus icons he's racking up. You got a long shot, you got earned a mulligan, you got daredevil, etc. Now all those are optional, but they give you more points and that's what's going to separate the great players from the good players. So the next shot on this castle is the bomb shot. Now Kirk can activate this and manually detonate it whenever he wants, but we're going to have some fun with it first. See that red guy hanging from the hot air balloon? That's the hot goblin. Now the hot goblin will stick to any shot like glue and take her for a ride. Also when he hits things, he blows up on impact. So here you'll see, takes the first two towers down just from the hot goblin explosion alone. Then takes the shot into the back of the castle, manually detonates it. Looks like maybe he didn't get enough damage, but then enough collateral stuff happens. That back tower falls down exactly the way he wanted. Perfect. The next shot on this castle is the split shot. Now when you activate the split shot, it breaks apart into four smaller shots. At that point, imagine there's a string between your hands and the shots are spread out across it. If you stretch your hands out, the shots get stretched out, you can smash them together, you can spin them. You have a lot of control in the air when the split shot's in play. Looks like he's going to aim low here, stretch out big, and try to take out most of this castle. There you see he gets the wheeling bonus icon, that's for spinning it almost vertical. Misses that front tower to save it for the last shot, very smart. Looks like he got some collateral damage on that shot. Some of the debris from the big tower crashed into the satchel charge in the small tower, taking it down. Here you see the destruction multiplier. We multiply your score based on the total destruction you've done to the castle. More damage equals bigger score, pretty simple. Now you can play the whole game without worrying about that at all, but one of the things that's going to separate a good player from a great player is the ability to manage that meter, fill it up at just the right times, get it up as quick as you possibly can, and max out your score. So here's Kurt cleaning up the last tower with the basic shot, getting a bank icon for the road. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a little about Reketeer and what high level play is all about. The game will be out July 25th on Xbox Live Arcade for 800 Microsoft points.